Hi, it's me, Gannon. I'm back to talk about that same topic that I was just talking about before this one. And that's how to live happily in the country. But this is part two to it. And, um, yeah, I wrote some stuff down that I want to talk about, just like, you know, certain things that I don't want to forget about. And one of them is, like, hospitals or clinics. Like, if you live in a small town, um, you might want to make sure that, um, you take care of yourself real well, like, take vitamins, eat plenty of fruit and vegetables, you know, like, stay as healthy as you can, because in some small towns, the hospitals might not be all that good, like, um, they might don't know how to deal with certain situations like a hospital in a bigger city might be able to. So yeah, that's one thing you really want to be careful about. So um, like if you have any type of health issue and you need to be like at a good hospital a lot, like every night or so, you might want to make sure that um, you find a city that actually have more than one hospital. Because some small towns only have like one hospital or something like that. So yeah, because the city that I was, that I'm from, that I lived in, only have like one hospital, I think, or maybe two. So yeah. But, um,. Like the dating, the dating um, in small towns is like very different. Like the dating in small towns is like um, they're very serious about it. Like even I don't even live there now. Even where I live now, like people, not all people, but they're mostly dating to get married. And that's what I do anyways because I'm a Christian, so yeah, I'm used to that. But in small towns, they really date to get married because in small towns, there's already not a lot of people in the town to start out with most of the towns. And then, um, like, they're very serious when it comes to relationships. Like, they look for someone who's able to cook, clean, take care of kids, that has already been to college, finished college probably, um, have some money saved up, um, you know, I already prepare for marriage, like, when they start dating you, they, they want you to be able to, like, help all they done at a certain age, so they ain't no, like, you want to go to college when you're 30 or something, they're probably not too interested in it. Or, like, you don't know how to cook. They might, they might don't be too interested in you, like, if you're not already knowing how to cook and stuff like that. I mean, they might be, but, you know, like, they really, really look for people that's already prepared for marriage. And then, another thing is, like, with, like with the dating there, like in small towns. They don't like cheating because <laughs> if you think about it, if you're cheating in a small town, you're probably going to get caught because everybody in the town will know you probably in, or at least half of the town. And then like, if you were to cheat, someone would probably go back and tell that you're cheating. So it's like, Dating in a small town is like totally different from dating in a bigger town or city. So yeah, you don't want to cheat if you're, you're not supposed to cheat anyways, but especially if you're in a small town, you don't want to cheat like doing dating or especially not doing marriage. So in marriage, but uh, yeah. And dating in a small town is like, yeah. Um. You just don't want to, like, be playing when you're dating 
like someone that smiles at him because they take us very seriously like um people are like really serious and they can get like very attached to you quick because um like I said, it's not many people for him to like choose from already from the start. So yeah, you might want to be very careful like with the dating thing. Just make sure you're very serious and you pray about it, stuff like that. Um, and another thing about the country is the bugs. Like in the country, there are lots of bugs in some parts, like in some towns. So, like, when I first moved to the country when I was younger, like, I was mostly, like, from a bigger city, so I didn't really see bugs out that much. But, like, in the country, like, you might see spiders, um, ants every once in a while, um, different types of bugs. So, yeah. And also animals. I forgot about the animals. <laughs> Yeah, uh, animals in the country, like, you might see lizards, you might see, um, like, wild animal, animals that don't even be on the farm, like, wild cats or different types of animals, bears and stuff like that, so you got to be careful. And then another thing about the country is the water, like, they have really good water. Like, the water from the city that I live in is, like, it's so good. Like, I'd rather drink that water than, I'd rather drink that water before I drink a, a um, soda. That's how good the water is. Like, the water there is, like, very clean tasting. It looks very clear. You don't see anything in it. And it's sweet. It has, like, a little sweet flavor to it. Like, seriously, if you drink the water, we would be like, okay, this is where I want to get my water from, like, as much as I can. <laughs> this is how good the water is. So, yeah. Um, this all I have to say about this topic, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you comment, subscribe. No, not comment, but inbox me, subscribe, or um, you can email me. Because my email is on the page. Um, that's all I have to say. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.